Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie and for today's video I'm going to show you how I created this look. Love how it came out. If you're interested in how I got this look then just keep on watching. I haven't recorded my brow routine in a really long time. My brow routine has changed a lot. So these are the products that I'll be using today. Focus, focus. There we go. So I've been using these two. The Gimme Brow is in shade 5 and the Cabrow is in 5. I've been setting my eyebrows with the Morphe. This is like a little brow palette that they have. And I just love it, especially because I do freelancing. It really comes in handy. I really like how it looks just by itself. This is what I do like every day when I'm going to work, when I don't feel like waking up early to do my makeup. Okay, so for this one, all you gotta do is take off the top like this, and it has a little brush, and then you st stick it back on here. Oh my god. Eye bags on fleek with light brush strokes, little strokes all over turn the brush this way do little light strokes going upwards okay so that's how my eyebrow looks after i added the cabrow i also just grab a spoolie and then just kind of disperse the product all over the brow i like to make it look like as natural as i can Bam. And I'll be taking the darkest shade right here and then just applying that towards the end of the eyebrow filling in the little bald spots or little sparse areas and I'm not grabbing too much product going back with that spoolie I'm just gonna go in using the powder at the end is gonna set and lock the eyebrow and it doesn't fade away as fast I'm just gonna be taking an angled brush and using the concealer that the brow palette comes with i think this really makes it look like a clean eyebrow look and then you can always go back with some powder to fix anything that you messed up messing up happens very often for me Alrighty, this is what your brows should look like at the end. Now that I'm done with my brow, I'm going to prep my eyelid with the 24-hour shadow insurance. It's very important. Prime the eyes. It just like pooped on my eye. And make sure that it's blended out completely. It's really important to use eyeshadow primer so that you have no creasing during the day. It will not go anywhere. I promise. For today's eyeshadows, I'm going to be using the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette in collaboration with BH Cosmetics. It has 21 eyeshadow and highlight. It looks like this. It's super, super, super pretty. And everything on here is like so pigmented. I'm going to set the primer with this eyeshadow. It's always important to set your eyeshadow primer. So when it's time to apply the eyeshadow, it blends seamlessly. And this is the Morphe E8 brush. I'm gonna be using these two eyeshadows all over the lid. So I'm using a Morphe 504 brush, just going over the lid. I don't wanna go past the crease, I just wanna keep it down here. Really take your time blending it out before you go in and get some more eyeshadow. Now 
I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and put it on the lid. I'm gonna go back with that same brush, not picking any eyeshadow up, but just blending out the edges. To create my wing, I'm gonna be using both of the NYX white liquid eyeliner. One of them is a felt tip, and then one of them comes with a little brush. Now that we're done with eyeliner, we're going to curl the lashes to get them ready for the falsies. I always curl my lashes because it's, it helps them blend with the fake eyelashes. When I went into Ulta the other day, I came in and I was getting my Better Than Sex waterproof mascara and they were like, oh, you should try this new Lancome mascara. So I'm going to try it out. I don't have a lot of eyelashes, I have like five. The lashes I'm using today are by Vegas Nay, Platinum Princess. Princessa, Princessa. I've had a lot of requests to be more detailed on how to put my eyelashes on. The first thing I do whenever I get a new pair of eyelashes, I use tweezers because I find it easier to handle the lash like that. And I'm gonna measure the lash and see how much I'm gonna cut off. I always put the beginning of the lash right about there. And so if you look here, I have all this extra. So that is what I'm gonna cut off so that the eyelash isn't irritating my eye during the day. I'm gonna take a pair of scissors and then just snip the end. You don't want to snip the front. Here I'm applying a thin layer of glue over the lash band. And the lash glue that I'm using today is the Kiss Lash Adhesive. I always use um, clear because if I use black eyelash glue, it's gonna go all over my lid and ruin the whole look. Just gonna wait until it gets super tacky, about 15 to 20 seconds, placing it like this upwards. And I'm gonna go as close as I can to the lash and very gently push it against the skin so that it sticks. You don't want it to stick on your actual eyelashes because you don't want to lose those. I'm just using the tweezers and I'm just kind of pinching. I don't like to squeeze too hard, but I just take my eyelash curler and it's gonna help blending the fake lashes with your real ones. If you have straight eyelashes like I do, if you look to the side, the lash is gonna be like sticking down and you don't want that. To prime my face, I'm gonna use Japonski. I received it last month in my Ipsy bag, so I'm just gonna try it out, see what, what I do. It's always important to prime your skin if you have oily or dry skin. It's just, it will make your foundation last way, way, way longer. Wow, this feels really soft. It reminds me of my Smashbox. And I'm just using the Mario Badesco Rose Water Spray just to kind of wake up my skin. For foundation, I've been loving the Makeup Forever HD foundation. Y375. I haven't really done a full face of makeup in so long. It's been forever. I've been so busy working, working and twerking. 
I don't know what to use. I stocked up on my shape tape. I also got the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I've heard so many good things. You guys have already seen me use the shape tape, so I'm just gonna use the LA Girl. Kind of like a first impressions, I think. This is my shade? I don't know. I just, how do I do this? And then I'm just gonna take it down the bridge of my nose. I think I put too much. I don't think this is my shade. This beauty sponge is from Morphe. I love this sponge for this reason. So you see how I'm trying to clean up the concealer right by the wing. So I just like to do this. Because it's like this shape, it's very easy to get in places that normally you can't with a normal beauty blender. Yeah. This is not my shade. It's like too light. Is the other one that I have darker or? I don't know. I'll try this. I feel like it's the same thing. Oh my God. So because the concealer is like really light for my face, I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Medium. So instead of setting my face with translucent powder like I always do, so I've seen a couple people set their face with the LA Girl Pro Face Press Powder. It comes with a little sponge. It gives... Hmm. I've never done this before, but I heard it's like supposed to give you more coverage. Oh wow. Hmm. Interesting. Oh my gosh. I really like how I left my skin. Wow. Why have I never done this before? It must have been. Wow, this is awesome. And like LA Girl is a really affordable brand. And for contouring, I'm just taking my Tardius Pro Glow. My nails are so embarrassing. Please don't mind my ratchet nails. For bronzer, I'm using Park Avenue Princess by Tarte. I got this in my Ipsy Glam Bag. For blush, I'm using the Milani Luminoso. For highlight, I'm taking Champagne Pop. Jaclyn Hill came out with Champagne Pop highlighter when she collabed with Becca Cosmetics. It's so pretty. Looks great in pictures. I live for this. So because I got this little uh, planet on my cheek, I'm gonna apply highlight, but I'm gonna try my best to avoid that. Highlight is supposed to bring out um, your features so you, you don't want to bring out and make that pimple more noticeable aiming just above it the highlight's gonna be like oh wow so blinding it's a distraction so no one's gonna know i have pimples i'm toned down the highlight just a bit though because i know i went a little cray cray in the last video so now i'm gonna set everything with the tarte ready set radiant Skin mist. I like using this because once I spray it onto my face, it's gonna melt the makeup onto my skin so it doesn't look powdery. It just looks good. Okay. I'm gonna put my liquid lipstick on. I'm using Biscotti by Stila. You've used the lip kit Moon by Kylie. This is what it reminds me of. So we're not done yet. For the bottom lash line, I'm just gonna be adding the same colors that I used. The brushes I'm using are the Morphe E36 and E17. The M432 is my favorite brush to use on the bottom of the lash line when you're trying to deepen up the look. So I'm just going to take dark purple where my eyelashes are. So you can just take any black eyeliner that you have and add that to the bottom waterline. So as you can see, this is the difference that black eyeliner can make and that this one doesn't have black eyeliner. Whatever look you prefer, I like it with black eyeliner personally. We're going to go ahead and add mascara to our bottom eyelashes. And I'm just going to be taking the same mascara that I was using earlier and just applying a little bit to my falsies. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add some uh, silver glitter in the inner corner. The glitter I'll be using is the Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow by Stila in the color Diamond Dust. 
And that's the final look. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. I was thinking about maybe doing a skincare routine. A couple weeks ago, my skin was really, really bad. And I even have pictures. Of I want to show you guys what's been working with me. So give it a thumbs up if you want to see the last little discrepancy that I have. But it was a lot worse.